Heidi here from Rain Country, God is good, all the time. And I'm here for another quick frequently asked question for me to answer, and that is, what do I clean my bottles and jars with? So we're talking specifically about things that have small openings, such as this recycled sparkling apple cider bottle that I use, my son always donates these to me, and then I use them for storing my colloidal silver, or these maple syrup bottles that I currently have some lemon extract in, homemade. Here's another bottle with the swing top that's a little different yet. This has got my orange extract in it. Here's another one like this. That one has the vanilla extract or even your regular mouth jars. If your hands, unlike mine, are too small to get into the jar, mine just barely fit into the regular mouth. Wide mouth is definitely not a problem. Or even your gallon jugs like I like to use to make my homemade wine or mead in and also to store our filtered rainwater in. And the answer to that is simple. It's a matter of getting yourself a good set of bottle brushes. And here's the set that I'm using right now. It's kind of nice because when you get a set, like this one has two of these bigger ones and they have long handles. These are a lot bigger and longer than the kind you get for like a baby bottle brush. And I think a lot of people don't even realize these are an option that you can buy. Now I got this set on Amazon and it has at least five pieces to it. I don't use these ones as much, but these ones like this are definitely, this one here is good for those smaller bottles, but these ones here are good for the bigger bottles and the jugs or even your canning jars, especially those regular mouth ones if your hands are too big to get in there. But it even comes with this thing. I have yet to use it for anything. And then this really skinny one here. I have used this one right here to clean out this bottle here. It was an old, uh, I think a Tabasco sauce bottle and then used it for putting my own homemade hot sauce in. And so I will link to that down below. There's several different kinds, you know, even if you don't like that particular set, there's so many different sets you can look at. So even if you go through that link, go ahead and check out all the different sets. Oh, there's another bottle I forgot about. The, the more square shaped avocado oil bottles. Those are the ones I use to put the homemade wine in after I've got it all finished. And so those ones definitely, because they had oil in them, you wanna use a lot of hot water and dish soap to make sure you're getting all that oil out. And then of course, using the bottle brush to really scrub it. And the nice thing about most of these is they're a wire, so you can bend them to uh, fit the shape of your jug or bottle or jar. And so that makes it a lot handier to get in those edges, especially when you're talking about the jug right here, this part right here where it tapers down and out, this rim right here can be the hardest part to get. But if you, when you bend it like this, then you can just swirl it around like that and it does a really good job of getting the stuff around those edges like that. So that's it. That's all I do. Just soap, water, and some bottle brushes. Anyway, I hope that helped and give you some ideas. I will be doing another video soon about how I remove the labels. There's several different ways you can remove labels because some every label is different. Sometimes you can simply soak it and that's good enough, but there are some that don't come off that easy and I have a several other ways that I can talk about. So be watching for that video to come out in the near future. Also, don't forget to check out my FAQ playlist that I'll be putting in the description box down below. Remember to click on show more, which if you're on a computer or a PC, should be right down here or if you're on a smart device a little gray triangle or arrow that you'll see over on this side click on one of those and to open up the description box to see all the links that we have down below all right well thanks for watching take care and god bless